It's a good idea to keep your cookie jar filled with popular oatmeal cookies. In fact, because of the protein in oatmeal cookies, they're especially good as a dessert for athletes and for men and women on weight control diet. Sup, gang? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you're new, if you are new. You are in luck. The videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So please do check those videos out and please share this channel with the people that you know. Anyone can benefit from the videos on this channel. Anyone. Today we are making breakfast cookies. Surprise. Side note, I would not eat these for breakfast, but I would have them with breakfast or a snack. Do not eat these as a meal. They are still quite sweet. They are refined sugar free. They are gluten free. Obviously that means they are wheat free. They are many bad things free. They are naturally sweetened. I found these cookies on lifemadesweeter.com. I am a huge fanatic of cookies. I love cookies. I keep buying these hermit cookies, breakfast cookies, all kinds of cookies that I love from the local health food store. However, I wanted to make some. The reason why I chose this website is because it gives you the basic cookie recipe that you can just add to as you wish. I have linked the Life Made Sweeter link that I used below in the description box, so please check that out. They are amazing. So I have custom made these cookies. This is the intro though. Let's see how I did it. The ingredients. One half cup of creamy peanut butter, the smooth variety. This doesn't look entirely smooth, but that is because I happened to have this on hand. No sugar added powdered peanut butter. So I'm just using up what I got. And then we have one third cup of honey. I'm using organic honey that I had on hand. If you are vegan, you could use coconut nectar or you could also sub that out for maple syrup two tablespoons of organic coconut oil, one quarter cup of mashed ripe banana. This is exactly one quarter cup and was one small banana. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Please do use organic spices. Non-organic spices have all been irradiated and feed the, the not so great gut bacteria when it is overgrown. And then this here is full of pink Himalayan sea salt. That is going to be one quarter teaspoon of sea salt salt. I recommend Himalayan or Celtic because those two have the lowest amount of heavy metal content in them. Then we have got two and a quarter cups of Bob's Red Mill Wheat Free Certified Rolled Oats. Oats do not inherently contain wheat. However, because of the facilities that they are processed in, they do get contaminated. So I buy Bob's Red Mill that guarantees no inflammation on the wheat part of oats. One quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. And then they say you could use one quarter cup of chopped banana chips and one third cup of chopped walnuts. However, instead I am going to use one quarter cup of dried cranberries. I had those on hand. And then in here I've got a quarter cup of hemp hearts mixed with cacao nibs. So I'm going to use those in place of the walnuts. I'm just trying to use up whatever I have. Those last two ingredients are optional, the walnuts and the chopped banana chips. So essentially, you could use any one of these things that you'd like. Nuts, dried fruit, cacao nibs, chocolate chips, whatever floats your boat. These are no bake, however, the first instruction is to line a baking sheet with parchment paper and set aside because we are going to be putting them in the fridge. And then we're going to be doing the first few ingredients in this medium sized saucepan right here. This is going to be on medium heat. Okay, we're just gonna say that is slightly simmering because it is hot, it is bubbling slightly. Remove that from the heat and stir in some of the other ingredients. Okay, it says this is going to make a dough that is slightly sticky. 
So here we have cinnamon, salt, and vanilla. All right, I used an ice cream scoop to judge the size of these because I don't have a cookie scoop, but this is what they look like. They look absolutely delicious. These are gonna go in the fridge for 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it out. So the cookies have been made, haven't tried them yet, They've been chilling in the fridge now for well over an hour. It said 30 minutes, but I have things to do. Let's have a look. Look at these bad boys. That is a thing of beauty. They look phenomenal. Oh yeah, they held up. They've got some integrity. These puppies are all right. All right, so we're gonna try this. Delicious. Absolutely amazing. Ridiculously sweet. Oh man. I am one of the lucky few blessed with no sweet tooth. Meaning I don't really enjoy the sweeter things. You know, the sweeter side of life. I kind of like the more savory aspects, but these cookies are phenomenal. That's amazing. Awesome with any breakfast. I have been having more savory breakfast lately. A lot of protein, so lots of eggs, lots of more savory types of protein. So having one of these puppies grab out the door as I get into the car to go to work, amazing. Try them out. That being said, if you thought this video was helpful, informative, entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up for me down below. Please do subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. I really appreciate that. And if you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down below and you will be sent a notification each time I post a new video. I do Q and A's, so another one of those will be coming down the line. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun trying new recipes. Try to make things yourself. It's fun, it's worth it, way more cost effective. And I'll see you next time, bye.